This is ABC 7 News at 5. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Good evening. I'm Haley Wilgus. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for being with us tonight. Our top story, the city of Sarasota is now considering banning medical marijuana dispensaries within city limits. The move comes just days after Governor Scott signed a bill into law implementing Amendment 2 to legalize medical marijuana in Florida, which was passed by voters. ABC 7's Kate Flexter tells us how this ever-changing regulation situation currently stands. There's a stipulation in that law that says that cities and counties do have the right to ban dispensaries. And that's exactly what the Sarasota Police Department and the city attorney are urging commissioners to do. Debbie Ezell's 14 year old daughter Alexis is nonverbal and suffers from seizures, metabolic disorder and autism. For years, she's relied on several prescription medications until November when she became one of thousands of patients in the Sunshine State to use medical marijuana. She came back to life being on medical cannabis. But Ezell says it's still hard to access. The closest dispensary is in Clearwater and delivery costs $20 or more. I would like to go to a a storefront and purchase the product just like I go to Walgreens to pick up my other medications. The new law allows cities and counties to ban dispensaries within their boundaries. At the Sarasota Police Department, Captain Corinne Stanish and the city attorney are encouraging commissioners to do just that. Stanish says the law treats dispensaries like drugstores, not allowing enough control. You can't control their hours, whether they have a drive through, their distance, or anything like that. Stanish clarifies the goal is not to restrict access to medical marijuana. She points to the option for delivery and the Bradenton dispensary to open in August. The main concern, she says, is public safety. What we want to do is have a more conservative approach, sit back and try to prevent some of the public safety issues that we know could come with it, but not at the expense of the citizens. But Ezell says the city is delaying the inevitable. As time goes on, more and more patients are going to be added and there's going to be a demand to have dispensaries in our neighborhoods. As to whether or not the county might consider a similar ban, a spokesperson tells us it's still too early to say. For now, reporting in Sarasota, Kate Flexter, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Thank you, Kate. The Northport Police Department has been working for months on cutting crime in one specific neighborhood, even holding a cookout to send a message. And now it seems that concentrated effort is paying off. Today, police conducted a search warrant for drug activity at a home on South San Mateo Drive and arrested Tondra Nepke. Police say this is a known drug house. Officers have bombarded, been bombarded with complaints, and they have made 51 visits to this home this year alone. Police have been stepping up patrols in the area, trying to clean up the crime activity. Last month, police held a spontaneous cookout there for residents. A follow up tonight on a Nokomis woman accused of giving a man a fatal dose of drugs. The state attorney's office is dropping the manslaughter charge against Melissa Winings because of lack of forensic evidence. Winings was arrested in February in connection to Sean Harrington's death. Deputies say Winings told them she gave Harrington heroin. The medical examiner's office confirmed he did die as a result of an overdose of carfentanil, which is 40 to 50 times stronger than heroin. Governor Scott recently signed a bill that allows dealers to be charged with manslaughter if there is probable cause the drug they sold led to someone's death. That bill, though, goes into effect in October. The Florida Highway Patrol plans to be out in force over the busy holiday weekend, making sure drivers reach their destinations. AAA estimates more than 43 million people plan to take a trip for the extended weekend. The amount of travelers in Florida is expected to increase by more than 100,000 from last year. Gas prices are also down from a year ago, making the cost of traveling more budget friendly. The Florida Highway Patrol is warning drivers that will, there will be congestion on the highways and drivers need to leave early pack their patients and focus on the road. Eating and drinking, uh, cell phone, texting while driving, all of these are uh, huge distractions that cause, you know, obviously these traffic crashes to occur. According to FHP statistics, eight people were killed in 897 crashes on Florida roads on July 4th last year. And if you do plan to travel over the next couple of days, you can find out about important road closures and crashes instantly on your phone. All you have to do is download the My Suncoast app. You will get traffic alerts, important news updates, and weather forecasts delivered directly to your phone.
And Sun Coast drivers are still being asked to stay away from one road where crews are working to repair a hole. Sarasota County crews are bringing in concrete to fill the hole that opened up on North Casey Key Road. That road runs right along the Gulf of Mexico. The county spokesperson says over time, water has slowly washed the sand away underneath the road, which created the void or the hole. Crews will still be on the scene working on repairs over the next couple of days. It's an active construction zone. We've got heavy trucks and, and workers in the road uh, all day and possibly tomorrow. So we really ask people stay away, wait till the end of next week if you want to see it. The county hopes to have repairs completed by the weekend. Then they'll put a cap on the road early next week. And several streets in the downtown Sarasota area are closed this evening for a big block party kickoff to the Sarasota Powerboat Grand Prix Festival. The Sarasota police will be closing 10th Street from US 41 into the Van Wazel parking lot tonight through Sunday. Lemon Avenue from 1st Street to State Street will remain closed tonight. And then Main Street from Orange to Palm also closed until midnight for that block party. You can find a full list of the road closures on our website at mysuncoast.com. We are monitoring some breaking news in New York at this hour. Police say multiple people have been shot at Bronx Lebanon Hospital. Let's take a live look here at the scene at the hospital where police and fire trucks have surrounded the building. Law enforcement officials say the gunman was a doctor who formerly worked there. Police say Dr. Henry Bello walked in the hospital with a rifle concealed in his lab coat and opened fire, killing at least one person and injuring six others. He then apparently killed himself. We are monitoring the story and will bring you updates as they are available. Now to Washington, where some Senate Republicans had hoped for a vote by now on their bid to repeal and replace Obamacare. Instead, politicians are heading home for the holiday recess as the debate rages on and President Trump suggests a new strategy. ABC's Emily Rao shows us what's in that plan. The White House still hopeful the Senate will get something done soon on health care. We're still fully committed uh, to pushing through with the Senate, but we're looking at every possible option of repealing and replacing Obamacare. But after a week of closed door negotiations, no revised bill for senators to consider as they head home. But a few new proposals are appealing to some GOP health care holdouts. Now on the table for moderates, a possible sweetener of up to $45 billion to fight the opioid epidemic and an option to keep an Obamacare tax on wealthy investors. On the other end of the spectrum, some conservatives are pushing a proposal to allow insurance companies to offer cheaper plans that do not cover essential health benefits. It's a big, complicated subject. We've got a lot of discussions going on, and we're still optimistic we're going to get, get there. The president also tweeting another idea Friday morning, suggesting senators immediately repeal Obamacare, then come up with a replacement at a later date. Senators Rand Paul and Ben Sass tweeting back their support of that idea. But Republican Congressman Adam Kinzinger of Illinois appearing on CNN said that's not the way to go. No, I think it's uh, repeal and replace. I think we have to have a good system for the American people to come in. The Congressional Budget Office came out with a new score of the GOP health bill. It shows by 2036, Medicaid would see reductions of 35 percent. Now, with the bill already unpopular among the public, many members of the Senate are bracing for pushback from their constituents. Emily Rao, ABC News, Washington. Still to come tonight on your Suncoast News, a plane crashes onto a busy California freeway. What witnesses saw when the aircraft came down. And ABC 7 Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan will be back with your full weather forecast. Plus, forget the flu shot, a new skin patch may be a better option in the near future. How it works in HealthSmart. Monday at 4 on Suncoast View. It's time to celebrate our nation's birthday. I'm Stephanie Roberts. We'll start with iconic patriotic music for Independence Day, sung by the Corral Artists of Sarasota. Then White Picket Produce will help us pack a fresh and healthy holiday picnic. Wait till you see all the fabulous finds the Sarasota Music Archives has to share. Plus the new Weston Sarasota joins us in the kitchen.
Monday at 4 on Suncoast View. SRQ Performance Parts provides parts and accessories from over 300 manufacturers, so you can get that new manifold, carburetor, gasket, bolt kit, or nitrous oxide system fast. We'll help you beat the competition. Call or visit SRQ Performance Parts online today for all your high-performance parts and advice. Get ready for the most hair-raising event of the summer. Feld Entertainment and the Ringling Museum present international circus superstar Bello Na in Incredibello, a gravity-defying, laughter-inducing, super stunt performance. Live at the historic Oslo Theater. Don't miss out on the must-see event of the summer, Incredibello, playing June 13th through July 29th. For tickets, visit ringling.org today. Save big during the 4th of July clearance and pay no interest for 48 months with same-day pickup or next-day delivery. This special purchase double reclining sofa for only $4.99. This special purchase white Florida bedroom for $5.99 and the matching nightstand is free. This special purchase Serta Perfect Sleeper Queen set for $3.99. Exclusively at the Furniture Warehouse in Sarasota, Bradenton, Veniceport, Charlotte and Ellington. And save big. With a top prize of $10 million, the new $10 million world-class cash scratch-off from the Florida Lottery is your ticket to take on the world. If you get knocked down, stand up again. Rip it up, rip it up again. Give me one chance, give me one chance. I'm gonna make it, make it. Give me one chance, this is my chance. I'm gonna take it. The new $10 million world-class cash scratch-off from the Florida Lottery. One of our life-changing scratch-offs offering billions in cash prizes. As a singer-songwriter, it's all about creating high-performance art that moves it's people. No Same is true in making gorgeous cars. Fiat designs it. You're the artist. Choose your palette just about any color combo inside out. No small wonder, state-of-the-art style Fiat. Now this moves me. Let the art of Fiat move you at Fiat of Sarasota. For the last decade, SNS Motorsports of Sarasota has built custom high-performance vehicles for demanding clients worldwide. They're now bringing their 50-plus years of combined build expertise to the parts business. SRQ Performance Parts is your one-stop shop for all your performance parts and accessories. A serious plane crash in Southern California leaves at least two people critically injured and traffic on a major freeway snarled. A small plane fell from the sky and burst into flames. Drivers on the busy 405 freeway in Santa Ana Wow, we're caught completely off guard, as you can tell from this video. The aircraft came crashing to the ground, creating a fireball and heavy smoke. The FAA says the twin-engine Cessna 310 had taken off from John Wayne Airport. The pilot declared an emergency shortly after he was airborne and was trying to return to the airport when the plane crashed. I actually witnessed the plane coming down, and we noticed that it wasn't going to make it back to the airport. Everyone started slowing down on the freeway and it hit the northbound side and um, burst into flames immediately. No one knew what to do. Early reports from officials say the two occupants in the plane, a man and a woman, suffered traumatic injuries. The plane clipped a car as it crashed, but no one on the ground was injured. The cause of this crash is still under investigation. Well, some of the fastest boats in the world are right here on the Sun Coast. They are getting ready for the big races this weekend. And one of the biggest events of the Sarasota Powerboat Grand Prix Festival is the Big Block Party. You can see those boats up close and personal. ABC 7 Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan joins us now live from Main Street in Sarasota, where the boats are getting ready to line up. Bob? All right, a beautiful day out here today as we are downtown in Sarasota. Uh, for the big block party and all the boats uh, getting ready to set and to move on in here. I had a chance to get out with Geico this morning or this afternoon actually just about one o'clock and did some great racing out there on the race course in front of Lido. The main guy was Brian Payne and uh, Brian I should say Maine uh, and he was the driver and eventually they let me drive that nice ride that you see right there a 300 motor on it and it was certainly a lot of fun. The race conditions were good, and they're going to stay that way, too, uh, through the weekend in terms of the sea state. There'll be less than two feet out there. And Brian Maine uh, was a great guy and offered it and let me uh, take the wheel. And I got it up to about 55. He went as high as 70 to 75 on those turns. It was a lot of fun and thrilling, and it's going to be thrilling uh, ride. You know, by the, by the way, that boat, that P1, 
is the class and they race all the same boats and the same engine speed so it's going to be a competition a real big competition as far as that goes it'll be the best driver as opposed to the best boat with the uh, best engine on it well uh, as you can see from tower cam if we can go to tower we'll show you generally fair skies uh, overhead and it should stay that way for a little while we've got some storms down to our south uh, right now those storms are moving through northport and near port charlotte along i-75 and those storms are going to be heading basically off toward the northeast and some of those storms could be rather heavy at times. We'll, we'll talk more about that a little bit later. But as far as temperatures go, they're going to warm into the low 90s each and every afternoon. Low temperatures will be down into the low to mid 70s and a chance for showers and storms. Not so much on Saturday. That rain chance is at 40 percent, but it does go as high as 60 percent throughout next week. And we are anticipating a good deal of those afternoon and evening storms. Once again, we are here live in downtown Sarasota getting ready for all the big boats to come on down. You too can come down and meet the drivers, get up close and personal with all, all the boats that will be here uh, lined up as we take a block party. And we have a lot of fun right here in downtown Sarasota. We'll have much more on our weather forecast uh, coming up a little bit later in this newscast. Back to you. Thank you, Bob. In health news tonight, some scientists are arguing there is no true limit to how long humans can live. Last October, researchers in the journal Nature said on average, people can only live to be about 115. But many longevity researchers came out in opposition to that, and they were invited to share their opinions in the latest issue. They note that it is premature to accept that a maximum life span for humans exists. It is equally possible, they say, that humans will continue to live longer and therefore might survive beyond 115 years. Opioid addiction continues to skyrocket 493%. That's how much of an increase there has been from 2010 to 2016 in the number of people diagnosed with addiction to opioids. That's according to an analysis by Blue Cross Blue Shield. Yet during that same time period, there was only a 65% increase in the number of people getting medication assisted treatment to manage their addiction. The BCBS analysis also found that longer duration prescriptions were associated with higher incidences of opioid use disorder. A little prickly skin patch might be the future of flu vaccines. The results of a phase one clinical trial were published in the medical journal The Lancet and showed that dissolvable microneedle flu patch to be well tolerated and safe for possible use. The patch comes equipped with 100 little micro, micro needles that deliver a vaccine when pressed into your arm. The patch contains the same type of vaccine that would be found in a traditional needle and syringe and could be useful in situations in which many people need to be immunized at once, such as during a widespread influenza outbreak. Coming up, a tornado rips through several cities in Iowa. We'll show you the incredible footage and the damage left behind. Plus, a dog with sophisticated taste in music. How this pup stole the show, straight ahead. Why settle for less? Get more for your money at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Nobody beats Subaru in service, quality, vehicle quality, and overall quality. And ALG named Subaru the 2017 top brand for residual value. Now lease the most fuel-efficient vehicle in its class, a new Subaru Outback for just $229 a month, or get 0% financing with complimentary maintenance included. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. This is an important medical announcement. Barred IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. Anyone who's received a barred IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the BART IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. 
Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Every week on Animal Outtakes, it's a new adventure. From meeting curious lemurs to feeding big cats and hosing down rhinos, there's never a dull moment. And sometimes these amazing animals chime in. Tune in to Animal Outtakes to find out what they have to say. Watch Animal Outtakes every week on ABC7. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blogs, step-by-step -step videos, and Suncoast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySuncoast.com slash dining. Parts of Iowa are still littered with debris tonight after a massive tornado swept through. A twister that touched down in the city of Stewart Wednesday evening was caught on camera. A storm chaser getting some of these images. She says the tornado dissipated after about 10 minutes on the ground. A tornado also tore through the town of Prairieburg. Several homes were damaged and trees and power lines were blown down. At least one person was hurt there but is expected to be okay. Well, it looks like a bus, but it's actually a hotel on wheels. Cabin is a custom-designed bus that provides cozy sleeping quarters and posh hotel amenities. It features a 24-7 attendant, bathrooms, Wi-Fi, and a downstairs lounge. There's even morning espresso and evening tea. The creators of Cabin aim to turn tedious road trips into a luxurious experience. The first route will start in mid-July between San Francisco and Los Angeles. It's not every day you see an elephant strolling through a neighborhood, but that's exactly what happened in Wisconsin. A woman snapped these pictures early this morning. The elephant apparently got loose from a nearby Circus World Museum and went on a little walk. It ate some of the leaves off of a few of the trees and the plants, but did not really do any damage. A trainer was called in and took the elephant back home. Well, this is a dog that knows his classics, a music lover. A Labrador crashes the stage at an outdoor festival in Turkey. The Vienna Chamber Orchestra was performing a symphony when the dog casually strolls on stage. The musicians kept playing and the audience loved it and started clapping. The dog eventually just laid down on the ground, got comfortable, yawned a little bit. He stayed there for about five minutes and then got up and left. One Turkish pianist called it the cutest moment in classical music. I agree. You know, some dogs really do respond to music. Maybe he's one of those. This is one of them. <laughs> he wanted to be up close to it, didn't he? He wanted to be right in the middle. <laughs> Very cute. I love it. Yeah. Yes. Well, still to come on your Suncoast News, people in need of a ride in Venice now have another option. Details on the Uber and Lyft services that will soon be available in that city. Story coming up. Fresh out of the box, the Alfa Romeo won us over. We went in skeptical and left in awe of this gorgeous machine. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Save big during the 4th of July clearance and pay no interest for 48 months with same-day pickup or next-day delivery. This special purchase double reclining sofa for only $4.99. This special purchase white Florida bedroom for $5.99 and the matching nightstand is free. This special purchase Serta Perfect Sleeper Queen set for $3.99. Exclusively at the Furniture Warehouse in Sarasota, Bradenton, Venice, Port Charlotte and Ellington. And save big.
This Sarasota Powerboat Grand Prix Minute is brought to you by Sarasota Ford. This year's Sarasota Powerboat Grand Prix will feature two full days of racing off Lido Beach on July 1st and 2nd. Meet race teams up close during the Boats on Main downtown block party on Friday, June 30th. Don't miss the Grand Prix Fan Fest on July 1st and 2nd, where you can see race boats launch and watch the races live from under a large tent. There will be music, food, fan zones, and vendors. VIP race day viewing tickets are available at sarasotapowerboatgrandprix.com. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. This is the story of a boy who was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help. And slowly, he learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at AutismSpeaks.org. We're losing exotic animals on a daily basis, and the ones that we have in captivity are really the ambassadors for their wild counterparts. I'm Clayton Rosaire from the Big Cat Habitat and Gulf Coast Sanctuary, housing over 150 exotic animals that needed a great home. And if you love animals, please help them. Do it locally. Support your local no-kill shelters, your local wild animal sanctuaries. Make a difference where you can. It does things that seem impossible. Feeling like it could change direction while airborne. Rediscover your passion for driving. At Alfa Romeo of Sarasota.